while we wait for the coastal inversion to burn up, let's head up the coast to Encinitas to visit a little off the beaten path local surf spot called Swami's Beach. Swami's Beach is named after Swami Paramahansa Yogananda, who was an Indian monk, yogi, and guru who moved to Encinitas in the 1930s. In 1937, he built the Self-Realization Fellowship on the bluffs overlooking the surf break, which eventually gave it the present name of Swami's Beach. What an ideal place to build a spiritual meditation retreat. Man, this really inspires a Zen mindset. This is different than Black's Beach in that we have beautiful green lush vegetation growing all along the cliff face down to the beach. But it's the same as Black's Beach in that these cliffs are clearly eroding away. Here at least, we have some well-maintained concrete stairs to get down to the ocean. It's fun to break away from the tourist zone and check out a place that's more frequented by the locals. It's a very beautiful little sliver of beach down here. Very much hearkening back to the days of North County San Diego when it was a much more eclectic, bohemian, and creative kind of a place. There's still a lot of that up here in North County San Diego, but it couldn't be more clear that this is now a very luxurious and competitively sought after place to live. Nevertheless, it hasn't lost its charm. And if you know where to look, that wonderful, relaxed, creative vibe is still alive and well. Dozens of surfers are waiting for their lucky wave at Swami's Reef. I can feel the glorious California sunshine peeking through the coastal inversion. So let's head back to Torrey Pines to our favorite stretch of sand. Wasn't that fun checking out Swami's Beach in Encinitas? What an old school North County surf gem from back in the day. I really felt that creative bohemian vibe over there. But now that the sun is peeking out, let's head down to Torrey Pine City Beach, which is at the southern end of Black's Beach, and check out some of the alarming and very concerning rates of erosion and collapse on these cliffs. And every day it's different, so let's see what today's collapse looks like. So stay where you are safely, and let's head down there together starting right now. 